All right, this is my last video for you guys, I, I believe. <laughs> but no, um, Troop C here. You guys know what's up. Um, I wanted to do a quick uh, review of 2016 and then look a look at books I'm trying to get um, into my personal collection in 2017. So I started this whole YouTube thing back in March of this year. Uh, this is one of my first videos I posted about what books I'm looking for. So you guys can see it. I think you know where each book um, may be already. So I'm not going to go through this whole thing just in, a, in an effort of saving time. So the concept of saving time. So in looking at this list and going back through my videos, I was able to achieve three of these books in one times two. I was able to get... Um, some of you guys know, you guys have been around my channel for a while. So, again, I'm trying not to bore you guys by no means. I know it's a bunch of videos I'm uploading. Um, it's a bunch of them I'm shooting tonight. So, you guys know, this was one of the one of the bigger books I was looking at. It's a uh, CGC 9.6. Uh, if it zooms. There you go. So, you got Amanda C., Jimmy P., and Adam Hughes here. Um, and you guys know this is already. So, Haven't had this one. I, this is my second copy of this. I had a one that was 8.5. Archangel and myself. It was also yellow label. Uh, Archangel and myself did a trade uh, for that one. I got a book in return. And I still get to keep my 9.6. Three signs. Which is, with three signatures. Which is the one I really wanted in my personal collection. So, um, you guys know. This, this bad boy was... An elusive, elusive book for me. I can't get this glare out. Wow. Um, was a loose, elusive book for me for a long time. But I was able to finally pick her up. It's Mylar's. I don't know if he's doing her justice or not. Not in this video. Anyway. Um, Bad Girl First Appearance. You guys know Barbara Gordon. Uh, Batman 359. So, and last but not least off this list, I was able to... Actually, put in my collection was The Walking Dead 19, First Appearance of Marshall. So, those are three for 2016 I was actually able to achieve. Now, some of these books in 2016 will roll over into 2017. Some of them, by going through this year, my style has changed. I realize I'm more of a variant guy. When it comes to some of the older books, I'm more of a reader. So, I have, you know, your First Appearance of Inhumans, um, you know, Flash, the first printers of Reverse Flash, so on and so forth, more keys, and which I actually read those books, I really do, so I don't want those too much graded, or, you know, encapsulated, so, some, like I said, will roll over, like, definitely ASM 129, that's one I really want, I definitely want to read that book, um, just me, in my style, you know, uh, so you guys may not see a lot of books from Silver Age, or Golden Age, or Bronze Age, into this next part of this whole video, So, that was the books. Again, 2016, my list, and what actually was achieved. Now, the second part is a recap of the books that I really enjoyed or happy about owning in 2016. So, I'll move these down. Um, actually, I'm going to keep these up as a staple because those are my top three. So, I'm going to keep these as a staple up um, just because. You know, yeah. Let's see if I can share the space a little bit better, though. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this. Do we fry? Oh! Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. So, I just showed this book um, in my other video. I'm not sure when, how I'm going to upload or time flow, but uh, Walking Dead, uh, Marshawn's sketch I had done. If you guys didn't watch my other video, just I love the detail in here, like I said before. It's just a beautiful, beautiful book. Uh, not, I'm not going to give a long spill for any of these, so just an effort of time again. So, second appearance of X-23 and X-4. I actually like this cover better than NYX number three. Just me. Again, my style. Again, I talked about it before, but if you go back and listen to, um, go to Art Angel's channel, listen to the wife's opinion of how NYX number three cover looks, it kind of helped me again in my decision. I made some ching money on it too, so I'll buy some more other books. So thank you to the wife. Uh, ASM, or oh, correction, Amazing Fantasy 15, first appearance and origin of Spider Man. Signed by Stan Lee here. Uh, happy book I'm very much glad to own. Rebirth, Reborn, correction number one. The sketch variant. Really wanted this book in my collection. Um, Death for me, when my mom passed, was something that hit me hard. So this book 
kind of gave another way of looking at it. So, uh, how it could go. Not saying it's much bad, but just thinking that she could be alive and happy and healthy somewhere else is something that I like to think about. So, book has sentimental, sentimental value. Art Germ. Uh, very, uh, Art Germ. Uh, the Reverse Flash Rebirth, number eight. I just showed this one to you guys also, but I have two copies of this one. Journey into Mystery, number 650 variant. Lady Sif on the cover. You guys know what this is. My Lady, oh, my Chung Lee, Power Foil variant. Absolutely love that book. And so, those are those. Mm -hmm. I see. My Batwoman. Uh, number 28. 826 of those printed. Have it on one. Captain Marvel number one by the great Adam Hughes. Uh, Tomb Raider Museum, Museum Edition. Uh, like I showed you guys before. It's only 50 of these made, period, by Adam Hughes. Happy to own this one in my collection. Um, very hard book to find. So, if anybody else has one, please, I want to know. I'd like to be a part of the small group of collectors that still have this book. Uh, you guys know what this is. This is one of my very favorite, or the, my very favorite cover of uh, Captain Marvel. You know, I had had a few copies of these. Had four total. Was able to sell two. Still kept two on my PC. Uh, Inhumans, number one. The J. Scott Campbell variant. Signed by Stan Lee with a little sticker there. Saying it's authenticated. Um... G.I. Joe number zero, the Gabriel Del Auto Flash, Muzzle Flash Edition. Apologize for the dead space. I got a bunch of books down here I was going through trying to fit this video together. So it's kind of hard though. If you, you know, you're very active in the community and searching for books, it's kind of hard to narrow down some of them. But so it took me a while, but I know these are my top ones I'm showing you guys that I really enjoy collecting and having and owning this year um infinite crisis number one the harley quinn variant love it love it love it oh no books down um i didn't put these in any particular order but you know the death of spider-man this was what the one in 200 variant i believe uh with uncle ben and peter parker love it I told you guys for um how i feel about stuff like that uh, Batman Battle for the Cow, the Retailers and Center variant sketch. Jim Lee, awesomeness right here, Batman 608. Um, let's see. What else we got? Um, Ark, welcome to the club. <laughs> but Michael Turner, uh, Grey Hulk variant here, which is Hulk 100. Love that book. Uh, Wonder Woman 38, the Finch variant. I told you guys before, this storyline was one of my favorite storylines to read. And this is which is number one. So, out of regular cover. If you guys see it, uh, signed by Scott Snyder and Jock on this one. Mm, if you see it, man, if you have not read Witches, pick it up. Pick up. I'm going to say pick up the whole set. It's only like six books long. Great, great read. Absolutely love it. Um... Kiss or Kill, so I already had a brain fart. Kiss or Kill, uh, this is the J. Scott Campbell variant with Black Widow on the cover. And if I'm not mistaken, this is my last book, which is uh, Gardens of the Galaxy number four. J. Scott Campbell again, um, Gamora on the front. Love this book, happy to own it as well. And I think, guys, that is it for my 2016 stuff. So I'm gonna get these down. I'm again, I'm gonna leave those. Uh, those ones in the back up because those are going to be staples um, to go by. You know, hey, if you set a goal, if you can't achieve your entire goal, go for your big stuff. You know, that's my opinion. If you can, do it. So go for your number one thing. And like I said, Harley Quinn, number one, Adam Hughes was my number one book for this year. Uh, so I'm happy to at least say, hey, that is in my personal collection. So 2017, and I'm going to do this differently. I don't have it written down. I like doing um photos so you guys if you see it this real reason if you do see these books let contact me i'm on instagram triple c um some of you guys have my email address some of you guys have my address um uh, actually in the mail it just if you see these books i'm about to show let me know i would definitely paypal you the money 
I trust a lot of you guys out there because I work with you guys, so talk to you on a daily basis. So I'll send the money so that way you guys can mail it to me. It can be actually part of my collection for 2017. But um, some of them are, some of them go without you know much description. So this one rolled over. Uh, do I gotta really give it what this is? The House of Secrets 92, First Prince of Swamp Thing. Always been a Swamp Thing fan from a kid and watching the TV shows. So if I can get his first appearance, that'd be helpful. I was working with a guy on Instagram for a copy, but it didn't work out. So, yeah. So that's one of the books. Uh, I put it a 4.0 because that's kind of the lowest I really want to go with this book. I said a 3.5 to a 3 based on price. But if I can get 3.0 point, 3. or higher... In uh, Amazing Spider-Man 129, I'll be satisfied. So, that's one of the books to look for for 2017. Oh, I don't okay. Um, some more Dale Auto stuff. You guys know what this is already. Uh, NYX number one, the Dale Auto variant. Just great Dale Auto artwork. I would love to see this on my comic book wall. So, if you guys see it again, let me know. For good price. You know, anything over, anything over nine, I'm not paying. So, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Mm, some more simpler, but very hard to find. And this one is tough. I, I don't think I'm going to find this anytime soon. This is a Red Sonya. And I talked to Alex the Comic Quarter about some of these Red Sonya covers. But this is Red Sonya number one, the Retailer's Incentive or RRP edition, negative variant. That's just beautiful. I don't know. It's just something about this that struck me. And it is in me to continue to look for this book. For 2017 until it is in my collection so um but yeah alex ross negative variant for song, red song now this one right here i gotta show sideways uh but some of you guys know what this these books are already some of you may not but it's thunderbolts number one through five the billy tan variant um hey master x i know you said the deadpool one was in a shop for you I will wire you the money tonight, tomorrow. Whenever you see this video, contact me. Let me know. I'm actually going to see your message after this. I just thought about you said that. So, uh, But I want it. <laughs> so I really, 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 really want it. Uh, so let me know if you can pick it up for me, brother. And I'll send you the money. You know I'm good for it. So, But yeah, one through. It's connecting cover, as you guys see. I told you before, red and black are my favorite colors in, on comic books. So, but yeah, just a good group. I like these characters each of these characters and I, them being together as a group would be awesome and on, again on my comment wall I think it'll look great so and last but not least this is not a comic book one but I'll show you guys but it's not, oh no I lied so my next book that I really want in my collection I think Spider Gwen is going to be around for a while and I'm, I'm upset but I'm not fighting I accept it but I want a first appearance but I don't want the the regular one I really you, you know guys I'm a variant guy so if I can get this one, the Greg Land variant for the uh, Age of Spider Verse number two, uh, if you guys see it again out there somewhere, let me know. I want this on or oh, in my collection, please. So I, now what I'm about to show you guys is not a comic book. You guys know I'm a Captain Marvel fan, and this is her premium premiere statue. Call it what you want. If I can get this. To show up a little bit better than it is, I guess. Which is very tough. Okay, so I'm gonna switch pictures. There we go. A little bit better. But yeah, we can if I can get this in my collection, um, that's gonna be kinda it's like two foot tall from my understanding, or just under two feet tall. But Sunshine collect things scene one and he told me about it. And I already knew about these books, but um I really, really, I knew about this statue, but I really wanted one from when I first heard it had been announced. And I think it just came out this month. So, this is my next. You guys can see in the background my books. I took some down for this video, um, for my last video, and this video for 2016. So, uh, but again, in review, Red Sonya 1 and 300 variant Alex Ross negative, my Captain Marvel statue, uh, Age of Spider Verse number 2, Greg Land variant, uh, House of Secrets 92. NYX number oh, NYX X23 number one Del Auto Billy Tan connecting the covers for Thunderbolts ASM 129 are my books that I'm really really going out there for 2017. So it's a little bit shorter, um, but most of them are pretty pricey. So 
Uh, but that's my video, guys. I'm trying to keep this under 20. I'm glad it was. So thank you for viewing. Again, if you see it, any of these books I'm showing, let me know. Contact me. Give me your PayPal account information. And we'll go from there, okay? <laughs> thank you. Triple C, happy holidays. Happy 2016. Um, celebrating the end of one chapter of 2016 and welcoming the challenges and uh, brightness, possibilities, whatever for 2017 that's to come. So happy hunting. Take care. Be safe. Be good to yourself. Be good to the people you love. And y'all stay blessed out there. Triple C out.